Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this video, I want to show you how you can convert a NURBS surface uh, into a series of strips. I'm going to also teach you how to make the connection with a series of pipes. And then we can have that in Rhino, as you can see here. Uh, I have the layer one, layer two, and the pipes. And it's a completely solid difference, so you can see the results here. Uh, okay, let's get started from scratch. Okay, so first of all, I want to make a base surface so let's just draw a rectangle here and rebuild this I'm just going to use this a surface to show you that you can use the any nerve surface so I'm going to say uh, soft edit surface and deform that okay let's just give that a little bit of a more U dimension and that's it okay now that we have the surface let's just bring this in grasshopper and I'm going to use the surface component from the params menu and uh, internalize this so we don't run into any problems and delete the Rhino surface okay uh, the first thing I want to do here is assume that we have a nerve surface uh, we want to make a series of uh, UV strips so for example if I want to make a U strip uh, we have to make this in a U direction. Uh, to use that, we can use the uh, ISO trim uh, component, which is really easy to do. And to make the division, uh, we can use this uh, math domain and divide domain two. So that's really easy. Uh, we have to go to the surface utility and use this ISO trim uh, component, give it to the surface and then use the math domain divide domain to give the surface to the domain because we want to divide this uh, the domain of this surface and then give it to the domain to division okay uh, because we want to make it in the u direction we have to give the other one one so i'm going to just give a one to the v count and as you can see here i can change this from three to maybe 18 this is going to be the u count okay and we also need a division in the v so we just have to select this control c control v this and this time i'm going to give the one to the u and give the division to the v okay so you can see that uh, this is the u division and this is the v division uh, okay, to work with this, uh, what I want to do here is to uh, also find the intersection uh, of each of these uh, strips because we want those points to uh, make those pipes. Uh, so to extract the mid edge of this surface, we can simply go to the curve uh, spline and use this ISO curve. I'm going to give that here. And remember to reparameterize it so it's between 0 and 1. So this strip is going to be between 0 and 1. And this direction is also going to be between 0 and 1. Uh, to make it at the center, we have to make a point. You can go here and say a manage point collection. This is going to be an easy way to do that. And as you can see here, I can say, for example, because the only x and the v are going to be used and the z is not going to be used it's going to be either 0 0.50 for the x y or 0, 0 0.5 so i'm just going to test this maybe the x is the u so i'm going to give that and that's correct so again you can see that we have it here so remember that when you're managing the point collection if it's wrong just simply put this to zero and make this 0 0.5 uh, what you what you can do is also go to the vector and use a construct point just to remember it's not x it's u and it's a v and the z coordinate is nothing so for example if I just give this a zero point let me give you a number slider to show you what actually it means if I give it to the u you can see it's moving from the start of the strip to the end of the strip and if I give it to the V you can see again it's going to start to the end so we just have to give this 0 0.5 to the U 
that's it. Now we have this. Uh, again, we just have to copy Control C, Control V, paste this and use it for the second set of strips. And this is going to give you exactly uh, what you need here you can see that we have that here and now we have to find the intersection okay now I'm just going to go to intersection a uh, physical and uh, say uh, multiple curves so I think it's like you okay it's V here and for this one it's U so we have the V isocurves and the U isocurves, okay? Uh, remember to use this intersection physical multiple curves, just flatten it because uh, we want all of those points uh, inside the intersection. So that's it. Now we can go back to the strips and be sure that we have uh, the intersection here. Okay. Just turn on this. I think this was the problem. So instead of you, we have to give it to the V. Sorry for that. Uh, because this one was 0 0.50 and this one is 0, 0 0.5. Okay, now it's correct. And we just debug this by moving it. And now it's we have those points uh, for future use. Okay, now that we have them, let me just put the points aside. And what I want to do is to make this strip a little bit smaller. So again, we can use the isotrim component. For example, for this one. And this time I'm going to use the math domain construct domain 2. This is going to help you to uh, control the U and uh, the V direction. Okay, so I'm going to say construct domain 2 and give it to here. Remember to reparameterize so it's between 0 and 1. So I just have to give a number slider to either U or V between 0 and 1. Let's just check that out. If I give it to like U, it's between by default 0 and 1. So if I give it to here, you can see it's like selecting a part of the U. And if I give it to the U max, I'm selecting the part of the U max. Okay. So what we want to do here, if we have a strip, for example, Okay, assume that this is a strip uh, and this is the U direction. It's between 0 and 1. If we want to have the same amount of distance between the start and the end, uh, for example, if I give this a 0 0.2, this one is going to be 1 minus 0 0.2, so this is going to be 0 0.8. That's really easy. You just have to uh, give it to the both input of U and make this maximum... 1 minus x. Okay, you just don't have to put that to 0 0.5 because 0 0.5 is going to be nothing. So I'm going to say maximum 0 0.4. And now you can see that we can make those strip happen. Okay, that's really easy. You just have to do that also for the second set of strips. And this time I think that we have to go on the V. So I'm going to say 1 minus X and that's it. And now you can see that we have two set of strips and we have the points also. And uh, because we want to make this like a real uh, model, I'm just going to give thickness to these strips. Uh, to do that, what I want to do is to make an offset surface. So let's just go to the surface, utility, offset surface. And we have to define a thickness. So for example, this is the thickness. Because I'm going to use that in many things, I'm going to give a number container. So actually I can control it later. Okay, if I give this to the distance, uh, let me explain this. Assume that this is the base uh, strip and we want to give it a thickness and the two strips are on together. So for this one, I'm going to bring this up. Uh, if we have a thickness of 3t, it's going to be t divided by 2. Bring it here. And then I'm going to give that thickness 
to give it like uh, a t divided by 2 minus and t divided by 2 plus. And I, I'm going to do that also for this one. And this is going to make it really have complete contact, right? It's going to stick together. So uh, if we have a thickness here, I'm going to say minus x divided by 2. Increase the offset. Let's check that out. Okay. We're going to also use that for the second strip. This time it's plus x divided by 2. Just turn off the strips. And now you can see that they are same distance we are giving it here. Uh, if you want to give it a thickness, what I usually use is the Pufferfish plugin. So I go to the surface. It's a great component, uh, a great plugin you can use and use this offset surface. I'm going to use that also at the end. So if I give that here and give the thickness again, uh, the uh, uh, let me explain this. As you can see here, the distance is going outwards because it has both sides. This is, that means if this is the surface, the distance here is going to be this input and the both side is going to be the minus one. So what you want to do here is to give the thickness to the both side and make it minus x divided by 2 again and x divided by 2. And you can see that the thickness is going to be exactly at the center. Just do that also for the second strip. And here we go. You can see if I bake this in Rhino, for example, layer one and bake this in layer two. Close Grasshopper. You can see that they are sitting on each other. So this is going to be the technique you can use to make it. OK, now that we have this, uh, we just want to give it some details. Just I remember that you can change the number of divisions here easily. Uh, you can change the offset. And finally, we want to find a difference between the uh, pipes from this. So what I want to do here is uh, how can I draw the pipes in between these two? Uh, what I want to do is to make a surface uh, evaluation. Okay, surface evaluation because it gives me the normal direction and then I can make the pipe here. Okay, uh, what I usually do is that this point which we found the intersection, I use a CP surface. And the reason I'm doing this, uh, remember to reparameterize the surface again on the base surface, is that we want to know the exact location of this here on the base surface. On the base surface we had here. So it's somehow like projecting the point on the surface and then finding the UV uh, address when the surface is reparameterized. Again, reparameterize the surface. Double click here and bring the relay here and then give the UV point to the point because this is not a point, it's a UV point. I don't know why they call it a point, but it's a UV point. Uh, the reason so we just take these two step, extra step, is to find the normal direction. Let me show you with a vector display here. And give that maybe 10x. And that's it. You can see that we have it here. Okay. That was the exact thing we needed to make the pipes. Uh, what we want to do here is to go to the surface uh, freeform pipe. We need a curve here, right? So I'm going to make a line. Uh, let's move the point we found here in the normal direction and give it a multiplication. And the amount is going to be the thickness. If I give the thickness, actually, you can see it here. 
it's coming up okay because we want to make it like bigger i'm going to say uh maybe multiply that again with a extension so i'm going to say two times this okay it's going to bring it outside and just copy paste this this time i'm going to give a minus x to the motion it's going to bring it downwards so that's all you have to do and that's how you can do it uh, just simply connect them with a line curve primitive line two point start and the end and let's just give it a pipe again with a radius Now we can control the radius here. Be sure it doesn't get out of the strips. So that's also important. And cap it. Caps flat. So now you can see that you have also those pins. Uh, we just have to find the difference between the solid from here and from these pins. So I'm just going to Go to the params menu, bring a brep container and put the strips here. The second strip here. And the pipes here. Just turn off everything. And now we just have to find a difference. And remember, because we want to find a difference, you don't have to have groups. So just flatten it. And now we just have to go to the intersection and find the shape solid difference. Want to find the difference from this strip and the pipes. Uh, okay, we have the results. Let's just bake that into layer one. You see it here. and i'm going to lock the solver so it doesn't run Control c Control v this time i'm going to say from this strip uh, make the difference for this pipe and then again turn on the lock solver so it runs again uh, that is going to give you the results but i'm going to turn this off because it's really uh, slow and it's going to slow down your computer but that's actually what we need here at the end let's go to the display and give a custom preview to this one and to this one and give it a swatch for example this is the black and this is the yellow okay or yellow and blue i prefer to use that color also okay to see the edges you can also use the surface uh, b rep edges just to see the curves of visualization. And for the pipe, you can make that smaller if you want to, but let's just also give another uh, color and B rep, okay, to the pipe. maybe white and that's it uh, and remember that you can download this example file from our website link is in the description and thanks for watching remember to like this video subscribe to our channel so you get notified about our new lessons and see you next time bye